Now back hard at work and creating a new mural in Kaka'ako. Dow Santaveras is loving life because he is high above Oahe Street with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Ross. That's right. That little rain just brought rainbows in colors here on this Monday morning. And we all know that the pandemic has really done so much to us here in the state of Hawaii. And for it being the last Monday, something like this is going to be a positive, inspiring message that we all need to end 2020. And here joining us on Wake Up Today, we have artist Kai Kaalukukui, who has been working so hard the last few days. Good morning. Aloha, Kai. Good morning. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what you're working on. Justin, go ahead and give them the, the just the perfect point of view here in the Kaka'ako area. Kai, go ahead and tell us what we're seeing right now. So we're, um, uh, we're looking at a uh, image of, of a mom making making lei with her two keiki. Nice. It's, um, it was started uh, a couple days ago and we got rained out, so we kind of missed a day. But now we're we got sun. We got we got great weather. We're gonna be getting down some paint today. We were able to get a good push yesterday. Nice. And so much has been done. So you said you started on Christmas Eve. There was a little bit of a pause with the rain, but I mean, you know, is this the biggest piece you've worked on before? This is, I believe, the largest piece I've I've done. This is a uh, 3,000 square feet, and definitely my first painting on the ground on purpose mural. Um, and so it was a little, it was a little tricky figuring out how to, how to manage how much paint it is. It's such a porous surface. You can see the cracks in the street. They're they're just really absorbing paint. So that was that was the probably the most difficult part. I get that. I can see how that can be challenging. But you know what? You're covering up these roads and something so beautiful. And a little bit about that message. We'll get into 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 it in the next half hour when it comes to lay making. But I kind of want to ask you, like. Creating a piece so large like this here on Aoahi Street in the Kakako area, what exactly goes on to your mind? I mean, what are you thinking? Uh, to scale up like this, it's um, generally, you know, you're on a wall, so you, you, you sketch on the wall and then you step back and then you adjust and then you step back. So you need to really be able to get back. On this piece, there is really not a good way unless, you know, getting in an elevator, coming up six stories. So I just gridded it. I gridded out the design and I drew out a grid on chalk, in chalk on the street, and then lined it with, with uh, paint, luckily, because then it rained hard and washed away all the chalk. Mmm, I see, okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna get into the challenges in the next half hour, and also the powerful message behind lay making and other activities that have really just been practiced throughout this whole pandemic experience. So, Kai, you're still gonna be hanging out with us, right? Absolutely. Perfect, yeah. and of course, if you want some more information on what's going on here in the Kakako area, so many beautiful things, you can check out our website at khwin2.com. Until then, reporting from Salt at Kakako, Dallas Honoros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you very much, Dallas and Takai, for giving us a bird's eye view. All right, coming up next, Kim.